hey there guys welcome back to my channel how have you guys been i'm hoping you're having a lovely day a lovely evening a lovely morning depending on the time you're watching this for me i'm doing great and i know it has been what two or three weeks without me uploading a video on youtube but you guys when it comes to creating home decor content it means you have to keep buying things every other time and as much as as much as i would love to be consistent i don't think i can be buying things every other week so just bear with me it will always be like a two or three uh, weeks break and then i'll be getting back to uploading but for the next three weeks i'll be having content for you home decor content so stay tuned uh and today now i have a new video for you as the title suggests i'm doing a kitchen makeover and it's a part one of my kitchen makeover which means there will be like a part two a part three because i can't do everything at the same time so today it just be a part one and uh the reason why i want to do a makeover in my kitchen it's because if you've been watching my videos i do most of them in the living room and even when it comes to like the cooking videos, I do them in the living room. Oh, uh, just the intro. I do the intro in the living room and then I get back in the kitchen and now continue with the, with the cooking. So I want to make a change on that. And for me to be able to do that, I need to do a bit of improvement in this kitchen area. Uh, and as you can see, I did cut my hair. I was so tired of salon visits, but story for another day. Today, let's talk about this kitchen. So what I want to be doing in the kitchen today, I want to add a bit of paint on the walls. And then there's like that tiled area over there. I want to paint the grout lines. Those grout lines, like the cracks you can see between the lines, they have kind of faded. So I want to paint them. And then the countertop, which is brown in color, as you can see, I want to put a contact paper on top because there's too much brown going on in this kitchen. And it, it just annoys me. I, at least I want a bit of white. So I'm going to be putting a contact paper on the countertop. And then uh, maybe I can turn the camera so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now this is what I'm working with. As you can see, there's a lot of brown going on. Like from the floor to the cabinets and then to the countertop. And I need a bit of color in the kitchen, which is not brown. And again, you see around the windows, I need to add a bit of paint on those, on those rails. Um, maybe I can go closer. On the countertop, as you can see, I've already added a bit of grout on these grout lines. So that when I place the contact paper, it will look straight or it will appear straight because I didn't want to put the contact paper and when it gets to it gets to these crowd lines, these lines would show. So I wanted to make sure that it would be as straight as possible. I think you get that when I, I, I put the contact paper, this marble one. So you get it when I when I install it. And then uh now for the tap, how old is that tap? In general, my kitchen, for lack of a better word, it's outdated. So I need to do a bit of improvement by myself because no one else will. So for this tap situation, I wanted to replace it, but again, that's that expensive. So I'm going to spray paint it gold. I have a spray paint that I bought. Uh, and these are the grout lines that I was talking about. As you can see, they have kind of faded. Actually, I tried cleaning them. And they look much better than they looked before. But now I have to add a bit of paint, white paint, so they can at least pop. I've not shown you the upper part. Now there, look at that kind of paint that is there. It's all faded. So it needs a new coat of paint, white, white paint. And then... Uh, work on the tile area the floor area again look at that i don't know who put such tiles in the kitchen and why i hate them it's because the rest of my house has just plain brown tiles but when you get in the kitchen you have these patterned tiles 
So before I had thought of placing um investing in um kekawambao from the floor decor guys, but when I sent them my measurements for this small kitchen, actually it's not that big, though it has a bit of space. They told me it was going to cost me eleven thousand. Something I was not willing to do because I don't know how long I've been in this apartment, so I don't intend to invest to invest much. And it's kind of outdated, so it's not giving me motivation to invest in it that much. I'd rather uh, invest in things that I know I will carry and use in my next home. So I will skip that. Now I want to show you guys the whole layout of my kitchen so that you can see what I'm working with. So when you walk in, which is like from the from the corridor door, what you see, you walk through, and then I have my cabinets and the countertop, and then, uh huh, my gas cooker, and then the cabinets. We did a video on how to arrange uh, the cabinets on top there, so I will link it below so that you can see uh, what I worked on in that video it's just a bit of a, a arrangement when it comes to like food items so this is what you see like when you walk in this whole side and then i have now the back side just behind me when you walk from the door now i have this where my fridge is and i have now that space over there that i'm still thinking on what to put there maybe like a small table uh and maybe some baskets on top so now this is my whole kitchen layout it's not that small and now you can see uh, above the tiles i was saying the other part of my house has these brown colors uh brown uh tiles and then when you come in the kitchen i have these patterned tiles that i don't appreciate uh, but it's okay at, at times like when you're in a rental apartment uh, you just have to go with the flow and do what you can do to improve your space because there's no one or the landlord is not will not be willing to part with his money to make it to your taste. So at times you just have to go with the flow, make the changes that you can make and just move on. So yeah, now I start uh, working on the countertop and painting. I will not be showing you much of the painting because i'm not an, an expert when it comes to painting this is my first paint work so i will not show you that i will just catch you guys after i'm done now with the painting and installing the contact paper so i'll see you guys in a few now uh paint work is done it's much better than uh, the way it looked before uh, I don't know if I'll go with another coat or I'll let it uh, just be like that. But for now, it's way better. Now, my favorite thing in this whole video, this marble contact paper. I got it from uh, an Instagram page called Premium Wallpapers. They deal with wallpapers, these marble contact papers. So I will link them below. You can go check out the, the, the variety they have because they have so many in different colors. And the customer care is great, by the way. So you can go check them out if you need one for yourself. Uh -huh. I've not talked about the price. They sell this five meter rod for thirty five hundred. My countertop will be needing two and a half of this, so I'll have another two and a half left. Maybe I can use it for another project. So it's quite big. Just go check them out, talk to them, and they're going to sort you out if you need one.
much better than the ugly brown countertops that I had, right? At least the kitchen is not that brown like it was. It was too brown. And now I feel like it's just beautiful. Look at my hands. Don't mind that. I have paint all over me because I'm just done with the painting and installing the wallpaper. Not the wallpaper, the contact paper. So this is just a part one of this uh, makeover. I'm going to end the video here and then there's going to be a part two where I will be like styling the countertop because this contact paper is beautiful and I want my countertop to look as beautiful. So the next video that I'm going to be doing, I'll be showing you how I style the countertop. Yes, so stay tuned for that. Now, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you have liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new, if you just found uh, this channel, then don't forget to subscribe because I'll be doing more home decor content in the future. And yes, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.